Okay, let's go and do the comparing numbers. Ready? Steady? Go! When you're comparing the numbers, it is very important to know the digits. Like here, we have the number 345. 5 is in the 1's digit, 4 is in the 10's digit, and 3 is in the 100's digit. Why is it important? Because when you're comparing the numbers, you have to start with the 100's digit. What do you have to start with? With the 100's digit. You will start comparing with the 100's digit. If the 100's digit will be the same, then you will move on to the tens digits. Here I have my Pac-Man. And here are the phrases that we use and the signs that we use when we compare. Now, this is less than. Look at the mark. Less than. Greater than. It is like this. Now, what did I say when you compare you start comparing using the hundreds digits, right? We have 832 and 548. Now, 8 is in the hundred digit and 5 is in the hundred digit. You will ask yourself, which of these two numbers is greater number, bigger number? It is 8. So, my Pac-Man will eat the bigger number. If 8 is the greater number, the whole number on this side is greater. Pac-Man will eat 832. Which crocodile will eat the 832? This crocodile will eat it this way. So, which sign will we use? We will use greater than sign and we will read it. It will say 832 is greater than 548. Let's see here. Let's go and practice. 315 and 628. We have 3 in the hundreds digit and 6 in the hundred digit. Which one is greater? Which one is stronger? Which one is bigger? 3 or 6? Six? 6, of course. So which crocodile is going to eat the, the hundred with, sorry, the number with the 600 in it, the greater number? Which crocodile? This one or that one? The one on the top. So, the sign we will use is this sign. It is less than sign. We will read 315 is less than 628. 236 and 527. Again, the hundreds digits are 2 and 5. Which one is greater, 2 or 5? Five is greater. That means that this whole number is greater. Which crocodile will eat it? The top one again. So the sign will look like this. It is less than sign. We will read the statement. 236 is less than 527. Now we have 800. Uh, 182 and 470. We have 100 and 400. 1 and 4. Which one is greater 100 digit? 1 or 4? Four? 4 is greater. That means this number is greater number. Which crocodile will eat the greater number? First or second? The first one again. So, which sign will we use? The same sign as the crocodile's mouth. And that's once again less than sign. We will read 182 is less than 470. Now, what if this happens? If the numbers are the same, you will use this sign. And we call this sign equal sign. 
What if the hundreds digits are the same? If the hundreds digits are the same, like here, 300, 300, you will move on to the tens digit. Here, the tens digit is in the middle, 4 and 8. Which one is greater number, 4 or 8? Eight is greater number. So, which crocodile will eat it? This crocodile will come and eat it because 381 is greater number. This crocodile will come and eat it. We will use this sign. And how do we read this sign? Less than. 342 is less than 381. Let's practice with my Pac-Man when we will use the tens digits to compare. As you can see, 100 and 100 are the same. We will use the tens digit. 4 and 7. Which one is greater? 4 or 7? Which one is bigger number? 4 or 7? Seven is greater. That means that this number is greater. Which Pac-Man will eat it? The first one or second one? Which one is looking at the greater number? This one. Right? So see where is his mouth open? Like this. That means the sign is this. The less sign. 145 is less than 178. Let's go to the next one. 300 and 300 are the same. We will use the tens digits to compare which one is greater. Which one is bigger? 8 or 7? 8 now. So this number is greater. Not this number, this number. Which Pac-Man will eat the greater number? The first one or the second one? The first one. So the mouth and the sign will be like this. And that sign we read greater than. 386 is greater than 371. Let's do the last one. Again, we have the hundreds the same. 800 and 800 is the same. We will use the hundreds digits to compare. We have 5 and 0. Which one is greater? 5 or 0? Which one is greater? Which one is bigger, stronger number? 5. Very good. That means that this number is greater. Because 5 is greater, the whole number is greater. So, which Pac-Man will eat the greater number? The first one or the second one? Which Pac-Man is looking at the greater number? The top one. Very good. See which way is his mouth open? This way, like this. So, that will be the sign. We read this sign greater than. So, it, we will say 852 is greater than 802. Now, what if the numbers are like this? 23 and 235. 23 has only two digits, while 235 has three digits. The number that has more digits is always greater number. So, this number has only two digits, one, two. This number has three digits, one, two, three. The number with more digits is greater. The Pac-Man will eat the greater number. Greater. This is greater. This is less. 850 and 1000. This number has three digits. One, two, three. This number has four digits. One, two, three, four. The number with more digits is greater. That means 1,000 is greater. Now, I want you to work on this page. And when you are done, please check the answers. 
Maybe your mom could pause the video because I will give you the answer soon. Okay, here comes the answers. 483 and 235. We have 400 and 200. 400 is greater. 281 and 242. We cannot use hundreds. We compare using the tens. 8 and 4. 8 is greater. 153 and 187. We cannot compare using hundreds. We will compare the tens. 5 and 8. Which one is greater? 8. The Pac-Man will eat that. 242 and 845. The hundreds are not the same. We have 200 and 800. 800 is greater. 673 and 520. We have different hundreds numbers. 600 and 500. 600 is greater. 349, 349. It is the same number. They are equal. 648, 623. We cannot use the hundreds to compare. We use the tens. 4 and 2. Which one is greater? 4. The Pac-Man will eat 4. The greater number. 336, 385. We cannot use the hundreds because 3 and 3 is the same. We will use the tens. Here we have three tens, here we have eight tens. Which one is more, three or eight? Eight is more. That means that side. Now, nine and ten. 571 and 623. We have different hundreds digits. Here we have 500, here we have 600. Which one is greater, five or six? Six. So, that sign. 448 and 484. Hundreds are the same. We will compare using the tens digits. We have four tens and eight tens. Which one is more? Four or eight? Eight, of course. This. I hope you had a correct answers. If no, correct your answers. It's okay. Now we're going to do the before, after, and between the lesson. What means before? Before means the number in front. The number in the front. If you want to find the number that stands before, you have to take minus 1 away. 132 minus 1 will be 131. What is the number before 135? It is the number in front of it. If you want to find the number that is before, you have to take 1 away. 135 minus 1 will be 134. After. After means the next number. The number after is the next number. So, what comes after 232? If you want to find the number that comes after, you need to add plus 1. 232 plus 1 will be 233. What comes after 235? Just simply add plus 1. 235 plus 1 equals 236. Between. Between means the number in the middle. In the middle, between the two numbers. What is between 201 and 203? 202. What is between 204 and 206? 205. Now let's go and practice what is after. Sometimes it is useful to know counting on. Just simply ask yourself which number comes next. Or you can do what I do. 
I look at the number. I look at the last digit. At the last digit, which we call the ones digit. In every number that is asking me to find the number that comes next, I will circle the last digit. The ones digit. What did I circle? The ones digit. The ones digit. The ones at the end, the last one. It is the ones digit. If you want to find the number that comes after, you have to add plus one. One more. So, five plus one will be how much? Six. Six plus one will be how much? Seven. Eight plus one will be how much? Nine. Two plus one will be how much? Three. Now, I will copy the hundreds and tens digit, but I change the ones digit into the new one, plus one. It will be 216, 457, 589, 383. You see, from five, it is changed to six. From six, it is changed to seven. From eight, the number is changed to nine. From two, the number is changed to three. The hundreds and tens digits will stay the same. I am changing only the ones digit because I will add plus one more. Now, when you're doing the number before, it is good to know which number comes before. Before nine comes eight. Before eight comes seven. Before seven, we have six. Before six, we have five. Before five, we have four. Before four, it's three. Before three, it's two. Before two, it's one. Before one, it's zero. Before zero is nothing. Or you just simply take minus one away. Minus one away. Minus one. Take away one. Again, you can work using the last digit. The ones digit, ones digit, ones digit, the last one, ones digit you will use to find which number comes before. But you will ask yourself, which number comes before four? Or you will ask yourself, how much is four take away one? It will be three. One. Which number comes before one? How much is one minus one? Zero. 839. Which number comes before nine? Eight. Which number no comes before eight? Eight minus one? Seven. So, we have the last digits. What about the first and second? They will stay the same. So, as you can see, 233 is the number that comes before. 471, 470 comes before. I just changed the 9 into 8, and I have the number. Change the 8 into 7, and copy the first and second digits, hundreds and tens digits. This is how you can do easier the numbers that come before. Between... I like to count on 245, what's next? 246, 247, 112, what is next? 112, 113, 114, 806, 806, 807, 808, 597, 597, 598, 599, this is the count on method. Now, be careful when you come to the numbers that ends with zero, because we cannot take number away from zero. So if you're looking for the number that comes before, you have to take the tens. 
60 and ask yourself which number comes before 60? 59. So the answer, what comes before 760, will be 759. Now, what number comes before 440? Again, you will ask yourself, which number comes before 40? 39. So, the numbers before 440 is 439. What number comes before 270? You have to think of 70. Which number comes before 70? 69. So, number before 270 is 269. Which number comes before 150? Think of 50. What comes before 50? 49. So the number before 150 is 149. If you have hundreds, before each hundred is 99. 99. If you have 500 and you're going one number before the 500, you need to go the complete 100, minus 100 down. So 500, take away 100 away, and then add 99. 500 minus 1 will be 499. Oops. 200, what is before 200? 199. What is before 900? 900, before 900 will be 899. What is before 600? 600 minus 1 will be 599. Great. Now, you're going to do the last page, please. And I will give you the answers. Work alone and play the video when you are finished. Okay, here comes the answer. Which number comes after? 145, the next is 146. 435, 436. 263, 264. 999, 1000, that's a tricky one. 203, 204. 158, 159. Which number comes before? 158 before is 157. Before 582 is 581. Before 350, that's careful, that is 50. Before 50, we have 49. So it will be 349. 576 before is 566. 199 before we have 198. 735 before we have 734 and between let's count on 123 124 125 number 2 220 221 222 number 3 363, 364, 365. Number 4. 384, 385, 386. Number 5. 399, 400, 401. 857, 858, 859. If you don't know how to do the count on method, you can also use after method. Ask yourself, 
Which number comes after this number? After 3 comes 4. So you will just change number 3 into 4. Same here. 220. What comes after 220? Just add plus 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. See? Here. What number comes after 363? You just add plus 1 to the 3 digit. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Here. What comes after this number? Again, you will take the last digit. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Here is a little bit tricky because after 99 we start a new 100. So 300 will change to 400. And here 857. What comes after 57? After 7 we have 8. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much. You did a great job. I hope you understood the lesson even though they are really, really, really hard. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.